for new names in Ebby Skobdal's first league game in charge. A busy midfielder with Pepper, Bernard, Jess and Young, Winters and Wynas up front. Well, despite what you read this morning, Jonathan Gould was given the nod in goal. League debut for Berkovic and Tevier for Celtic. A first look at John Burns' new lineup: up and Berkovic sitting behind Larson and Baduka. Commentator Peter Martin. A new season gets underway, new hope for both teams. Aberdeen against Celtic, the first in the new Scottish Premier League. John Barnes just giving out instructions there. Celtic come away again. And as you can see, coming across by There's a mist coming in from the sea. Very much the conditions at Easter Road yesterday between Hibbs and Motherwell. And thankfully, still playable. Marabczyk, chance to cross the ball and there it is Lawson and well away from Dave Priest. Celtic with the opening goal three minutes gone Henrik Larson and the Aberdeen goalkeeper had no chance a great cross from Marabczyk Larson with a header and Celtic are one up the tongue is out and the goal scoring has started once again for last season's player of the year it was a lovely ball in Larson rising up there heading it down across Dave Pierce. Livermere Moravchik with a cross in, Larson heading down, Pierce with no chance, Celtic got a goal in front. And the Aberdeen captain Derek White will not be happy that Larson managed to outjump him in the box. Henrik Larson, 39 goals last season, and that's his first of the season. Here's Berkovic, the loud time to turn, plays a quick one-two with Larson, good play again by Celtic. Now Moravchik, can he get another good cross in? He can! Almost an own goal, Andy Dow looking towards Derek White. And Aberdeen nearly went two goals down. That was a chance, and once again the quick passing, and then Moravchik with a dangerous cross, lovely, just away from Pierce, and Andy Dow didn't know much about that. Moravchik, the in-swinger, lost it again! Dave Priest just looking towards Stuart Diggle. Moravchik, again a brilliant corner, Larson just trying to get the touch. Henrik Larson, one goal to his credit, and now Berkovic with the corner. Different style, Larson! Oh, almost 2 nothing. The woodwork saving Aberdeen's blushes. Henrik Larson almost making it two goals to nil to Celtic. Berkovic, different style of corner, the head flick from Vikost, and Larson denied by the post. Lambert building, Berkovic, past one man, this is a chance, Isle Berkovic. Larson laying it off again, Berkovic trying the drive. Out to Vekos, switched over to Tom Boyd. Moravchik. He's away, easily enough past Darren Young, there's the cross in, there's the goal! 2-0 Celtic! Mark Viduka, and would you believe it, a carbon copy of the first goal, Livermere Moravchik with a cross from the touch lane, Viduka attacking the ball. Unlike Henrik Larson before him, the ball ends up in the back of the net. Moravchik easily passed Darren Young, swerving the ball in. There's the header. Celtic two goals to nil up. Lovely ball in from Moravchik. Dave Priest with no chance. The header downwards once again, Vaduka, and it's 2 0 Celtic. Again, they move it wide, Vida reset, Larson just a flick in, Berkovic, lovely play by Celtic, looking for the one-two, oh, this will be a great goal if it comes into him, Moravchik blocked away, lovely passing move by Celtic, Vikos putting it in the danger, still there, there's a chance, 3-0, Mark Viduka, his second of the game, a magnificent move by Celtic, they quite literally tore Aberdeen's defence apart, there's only three minutes to go before half-time. Into the path of Viduka. Cam as you like, past Dave Brees. Well, because reset, Viduka, 3-0. Aberdeen never really caused Celtic any problems at defence, but they might do now. That ball almost finding its way through to Robbie Winters. Jonathan Gould with a rather innocuous clearance 
you come up again. Here's a chance for Winters. Two Celtic players around him. Penalty kick. And John Barnes looks in disbelief. Tibbly smiling, but it's a penalty nonetheless. And the two Celtic players have been adjudged to have been all over the top of Robbie Winters. And no matter what angle you look at, it's a penalty. And we're only three minutes into the second half and Ian Jess has a chance to bring Aberdeen back into this match Jess, saved by Jonathan Gould it just seems to go from bad to worse for Aberdeen Jonathan Gould makes the save I'm sure most of the Celtic camp will feel justice has been done but nevertheless it was a penalty to Aberdeen and Ian Jess has missed that penalty and Celtic still have a 3-0 lead Berkovic just and then again Aberdeen really finding it difficult to get a touch on the ball Berkovic playing that through to Viduka Viduka just coming inside penalty kick to Celtic Russell Anderson well, he may have the look of innocence but there's no doubt that the lovely skill from Viduka took him away and some would say that was a little harsh on Anderson but he did actually make contact with Viduka 53 minutes of this match gone penalty kick to Celtic Henrik Larsson and there you have the answer Celtic 4 Aberdeen 0 Henrik Larsson with his second of the afternoon thanks to the efforts of Mark Viduka who's already scored two and a lesson on how to take a penalty kick And we did raise the question, how many will Celtic score? We now have four. Ian Jess, two Celtic players around him. Laying that back, there's a chance, great save by Jonathan Gould. And at the second attempt. Aberdeen wanted an opportunity to get at least a consolation goal Kiriakov keeping the ball low Gould made the save Celtic catching Aberdeen out again here's a chance to break Larson this will play early here's Mark Birchall with a chance trying to get it onto his left foot drives it in Mark Birchall well as he often does on so many occasions comes on as a substitute and adds a killer goal and on that occasion Aberdeen caught out in the midfield Celtic's quick passing Virchow's left foot 5-0 Aberdeen lost the ball in the midfield Virchow really had a chance to pick his spot and the youngster didn't disappoint and another goal dispatched into the Aberdeen net Jess coming away good play by Jess Robbie Winters is there. And so is Tom Boyd. And the Aberdeen fans clearly venting their anger at the performance of their side. And that pass astray once again gives Celtic the chance to build through midfield. Berkovic coming away. And if he looks up, he'll find that there's quite a lot of space again for Lugami Mirabchuk to exploit. But at the end of it, the referee Stuart Dougal brings the game to a close. Henrik Larsson applauds the Celtic fans who made the journey up here to quite simply witness a hammering. It's Aberdeen nil, Celtic 5. The lads did very well. Uh, I was very pleased with the second half particularly because after going three and up, you know, we could have become complacent in the way that we played, but we didn't. We still pressed forward, we still did the right things, we didn't over-elaborate and we scored another two goals. So the pleasing thing was the performance over 90 minutes. Uh, it's a good start for, for us today. Uh, it was very important to start with win, because uh, we uh, give confidence to the club, confidence to the player, and uh, it's very important and very happy.